business and she would just have a crib and shit like that. So it was like hotel hopping and all that crazy shit. So it was like an Airbnb, you feel me? I be getting paid now, nah, baby. My life ain't the same now, nah, baby. My life doesn't change now, nah, baby. My life is insane now, nah, baby. All you do is hate now, nah, baby. Oh, I just shaved now, nah, baby. Smoke off of the pain now, nah, baby. Hope you go to bed now, nah, baby. I was like at Zucci's crib. We it was like right after the New Year. You feel me? So I think it was like around Jan, Feb, early Jan, late Jan, early Feb. But between those times, I remember it was like between those two months. So at that Airbnb, bro, uh, we out there. We had just moved from another Airbnb actually. So yeah, we got to that Airbnb. And, like everywhere we was going, my nigga, like we had the studio set up and niggas was just recording. And I'm the type of nigga that I'm always waking up and I'm finna make beats and shit. You feel me? So. We're just making songs, and I actually started making this. You see that Spanish vibe? You see that? Um, what's that song, Candy Man? Bad Christians. I was on that tip, so I had like an EP full of all of that type of music, and I never released it because I heard, you know, other people dropping that song before me. Because I thought I was gonna be the first nigga to, you know. So after I heard people do it before I could drop my shit, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just go find some new shit to do. So yeah, it was that, and then I don't know, man. Like, uh, what happened? That song just like I'm a I'm a I'm a nigga that you know like when I'm going through shit in my life, like as much as every time people ask me, yo, how did that project come about? How did that song? How did that? I always tell them it's like what I'm going through or what I'm feeling and shit like that. But it's not a a thing of it's an instant thing that okay, fuck, I'm feeling something right now and I'm automatically boom at the mic like. My my feelings, bro, like, the shit that I go through is crazy, so I kind of, like, sit back and, you know, let shit happen, and then I get to a point where I, I end up, like, accepting the situation of my life and shit like that, so I've been just through some shit just going on and shit, and, yeah, so, like, when I make songs, I make those stories, because now I understand, because most of the time, I, the reason why also I don't, like, really make songs when I'm going through that shit at the same time is because... Most of the time, I don't really understand the situation, you feel me? So I can't really speak on it or do anything at that moment, really, about it. So after I go through all of this shit and I'm, like, already coming back to being myself again, I just laid down all the stories of what I was going through through that phase of my time. So, like, as soon as I'm back again on my feet, like, boom. So I was going through all of that, you know, fucking, you know, a whole lot of shit. Like, Candyman had so many songs that are... Uh, not gonna come out in summer yeah it's out you know there's a lot of songs that's not gonna come out and you know how you feel was just you know something that i went through and i just had to you know chill and think about it i was like you know fuck actually i i got to a point where i, had, I started feeling confident about who i am i didn't give a fuck i didn't want nobody's approval so it's basically like you hear it's me talking about um, I'm basically saying, yo, girl, what the fuck was you thinking? Like, yeah, you thought you, you know, you thought you had it planned out, and you know now you look at you now, you feel me? Like, you, it's basically that like you didn't believe in what the fuck I was trying to do. You didn't understand. So it's basically all of that shit that I was going through, and I was like, okay, cool. And I got to accept the fact that you know. I'm doing my thing and I just gotta keep doing my thing. And I, you wanna know I be, wanna know I be, 
yeah Wanna know what I'm drinking, wanna know what we smoking, yeah Wanna know what I be, wanna know what I'm with, yeah All night and morning, all night and morning Girl, I'm on and I know how to make you feel Deep inside, I know you still fuck with the key Actually, when I wrote, when I when I recorded that song, crazy enough, um, I didn't have a second verse. It was just a, it was just the first verse. So, on the first verse, uh, I just did that whole, I laced that whole shit down after I laced it. Um, I got back with my girl. That's when I did the second verse. Now, you feel me? So for me now, that song started making way more sense for me, and then yeah. So yeah, that's just basically it. I, I just like making stories that are real instead of just like speaking. You know, like you know, as rappers, you know, we creatives at the end of the day, so we can speak about anything. Like I can speak about shit I've never experienced, just because I can think about it, just imagining it. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, that song. I just wanted to make stories of you know some people can relate to because also like. Coming up from high school, all that shit, you know, I was, I knew I was a cool kid, but, you know, at the end of the day, when reality hits, sometimes, my nigga, you're going to be the lame, you feel me? So, I was the lame out there, but I knew that one day I was going to be cool. So, it's also not just a song that's boxed in about talking about a girl and saying, hey, girl, fuck you, all this. It's also just, you know, all the people that just look down on me, you know, like, yo, man, what the fuck? Until you know, shit happens. Girl, I'm on it. I know how to make you feel. Deep inside, I know you still fuck with the key. Yeah, yeah I'm on it. I know how to make you feel. Deep inside, I know you still fuck with the key. Please leave a message after the tone.